Hello and welcome to episode 40 of my Planet Explorers tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on continuing the quests and the current quest that I'm doing is locate local cell samples. So I know that I did a little test and I know that if I go and fight a creature uh, that's one way of gathering these samples. Now as you can see I've had some fun making a load of these sentry type 3 uh, these type 3 sentry uh, guns so I've got four now I hope to have a lot more than that in the future um, but for now four should do very nicely indeed. So anyway notice that them uh, components drop there I didn't get any cell samples so it seems to be that you need to actually go and do a killing now with the quest active in order for it to register some cell samples so let's show that and then we can see what we've got to do next after that so if I come out here we're looking for yeah let's try these small little creatures so if I put that down there Oh, it's, wow, they've got some good range on them. Look at that. Anyway, let's grab all of this. Yeah, they've got excellent range. Yeah, see, notice no cell samples yet. Let's try shooting one of these. Although that gun's now attacking that, so that's not going to be... Uh, let's try... Right, do I get any cell samples? Yep, there's one. So you can see that uh, kill stuff. Love them laser. I love the laser gun. It's so cool. Prefer the turrets, but look, that's two. So I need one more. So you just go out and do a bit of hunting. Um. But I just can't seem to walk by all the dropped food on the floor without picking it up. Without getting this strong urge to loot. It's what I do. Anyway, let's grab this gun because it's not doing what I want it to do. I'm not wanting it to attack that giant turtle. Oh, I want to attack and get my last cell sample. So let's look for something else which isn't going to take 10 minutes to kill. Yeah, so I'll do another one of these. Let's run over there. <coughs> Excuse me. And I shall use my laser gun to finish this off. There we go. Let's see if we get our final cell sample. Yep, there we go. So cell sample is now got. In fact, there, I've got one extra can't say no fairer than that. Now we need to head back to the quest giver and see what they got to say. See if we can find them first of all. Ah, oh, there they are, that's cool. Let's turn the sound up a bit so you can hear what they say. So it's Pleiades Zeng. What do you want now? Uh, here are the samples you needed. Thank you. Let me take a look. Okay. Oh, no, we're not finished yet. What do you want now? I want you to finish what you need to tell me. Thank you. Now this is interesting. Remember that virus I was talking about before? The one that's mutating a lot? It's already using our cells to multiply. So I'd say it's probably the cause, in a way. And how's a local virus getting our people sick? The protein zip codes aren't even on the same planet. That's true, but no matter how I look at it, it's already adapted. Look here. See the virus fusing into the cell? But that's not the most interesting part. From the samples gathered, I was able to find this virus in a couple of other specimens, but they acted differently from the ones affecting us. For one thing, the one affecting us is also releasing a byproduct in the form of several transposins, or strands of free roaming DNA, when it's multiplying. So I took out its RNA and referenced it to the other two samples, and it's been changed for sure. No, I'm saying it's been changed. The natural mutation doesn't give you such logical structure. 
This looks like it's been built not for replicating itself, but to manufacture the transmissions. And I think it's the transmissions that are the root cause of our sickness. There's also something else, something weird, but I'm still looking into it. Damn. Well, I don't think we should jump to conclusions, but let's follow up on this. Forward all of this over to the Martians as well. Oh, right, great. Now I've got to get blood samples. What am I supposed to do? Shoot on colonists? Shoot my own colonists and then go shoot some Martian colonists? Um, I hope there's an easy way to do this. Um, what I'm hoping for is if I can just talk to them. Reason with them. Reason why they should want to give me some of their blood. Uh, it's not going to be the easiest thing to reason, but let's see. Careful there, I'll protect you. Oh, <laughs> how fantastic is that? Can I please have your blood sample for GIV research? Lovely, so I haven't got to shoot them with my laser gun. And there we go, how amicable. It is, of course, in order to save them all. Right, so we got one, that's cool. I haven't had to run around the whole camp talking to a hundred different people trying to achieve this objective first go. I was lucky. Let's see if someone else would be as nice. Or as amicable. Uh, what is it? <laughs> That's a good start. Yeah, here we go. I'll put on my most polite voice. Can I please have a sample of your blood? Ah, look at that. Works every time. Cool. So there we go. We now got two. Let's see if we can find one more sucker. I mean, person. Sucker being the right word, of course. I'm sucking their blood in a way, in a form. Right, okay, where is my last victim? Oh, everyone's just, yeah, they've heard that I'm after blood, you see, now they've all run off. Though there is someone up here, let's see if I can catch him. Come here, I only want a little bit of your blood. I'm going to ask you really nicely, so I doubt you're going to be able to refuse me. No, don't jump away. What is it? Can I have a little bit of your blood, please? And there you go. Cool. That's all. Thank have you very a nice much. Day. Okay, so three blood samples. Is that enough? It looks like it is because we've got the good old pink question mark. Oh, don't start making a loud gun noise at me, game. Uh, that's weird, he just transported himself from down here to up there. Oh, it's constantly being attacked by them giant turtles and making all this noise, making my guns make all this noise. And I want you to hear what the people say. But I can hardly do that when there's a really loud... Ah, right, it's dead, so let's try. Now, hopefully he's not going to teleport off in a total different direction. He's just up ahead. I think it's Cheng I'm after. Oh no, here we go, more noise. We're getting lots of meat though. Where did Cheng go? Wow, look at all of this. I mean, come on, I can't run past this without gathering it up. Loads of it. Oh, there he is. Now, let's see if I can remember how to get back into my base. Oh yeah, little slit doorway. That I managed to block. With a gun. Right, great. What about round the corner? Well, I know he's inside now. He keeps teleporting around, but hopefully he'll stay put. Here we go. We can get in. No, we can't get in there, because... Maybe, yes we can. Right, okay, there he is. Got him in my sights again. Let's see if we can talk to him. Yeah? Thank you. Perfect timing. Yeah, I must say so myself. This is worse than I thought. The virus I was talking about before was only acting as a vector. 
The real bad news is this little sucker right here. It's some kind of satellite virus that attaches itself to the agent virus and reconfigures the virus's RNA. I was having a hard time locating it because it was dissipating on its own. I checked the air and the new blood samples you gave me. It's prevalent everywhere now that I know where and how to look. We're all infected. Great. Alan is studying how the transposins are affecting our bodies along with the Martian doctors now that we're pretty sure it's a problem. But we need to know the source of the satellite virus. If it's a weaponized virus, it'll be very tough to beat. Because I used to make them back on Earth. It's not something I'm proud of, but I can see a weaponized virus from a kilometer away. Well, they say every bad thing has something good to offer. And you may well have made them, but that's also what now makes you able to deal with it or recognize the problem. So there we go. Oh, here we go. Now we're going to start having colonists die on us, uh, which means a bad thing for our base. Oh, no. Uh, Taro is sick as well. He wants us to give them a burial somewhere. Their ash boxes are in front of the med tent. Can you do that? Oh, great. So I'm on burial command. Okay, so I've got to go bury, bury the ash box. Now, we've done that previously. I think it's a case of dig a hole and put the box inside and then throw some dirt on, if I can remember correctly. I've forgotten completely. Um, the person's in there. Oh, that's where the target for this is. Are they on top or below? Yeah, they, so they are in here. There you go. So let's talk to Alan. Can I help you? Of course not. My vision's been blurry for a while. Speaking of which, let me give you some elixir medicine. It's a mix of antitoxins, antibiotics, antipyretics, lots of caffeine, and anti-inflammatories. All that good stuff. I should patent it. You'll probably start getting symptoms soon. So it'll come in handy and keep you trucking a while longer. Oh, right, okay, so... Is well, anyone getting better? There are always a percentage of immune systems that could cope with a virus. That is, if we're talking about something from nature, which I'm not sure this is the case. What the hell were the natives thinking? We didn't even resort to bioweapons. That slope's just too damn slippery. Miss Novakova is hanging on by a thread right now. I don't know how long she'll last. A couple of others are also doing badly. Isn't she the one who just died? Oh well. It starts with a shortness of breath and blurred vision. Then after a bit fever starts and everything in your body starts to fail. The cause of death will be multiple organ failures. We're theorizing that the transposins are changing our DNA bit by bit. And that's what's causing the symptoms. I've been administering several types of antibiotics where you can figure against local viruses. They are slowing down the process, but not enough. If this is a virus, then we all probably have it already. It's just a matter of time. We've got word from the Martian colony that they're affected too, so it's not a local problem. How does it look to you? What kind of foolish question is that? We might all end up dead in a week. That's how it looks. Well, I guess that would solve our problem, though, wouldn't it? Okay, so we'll leave Mr. Happy alone because he doesn't seem to want to offer us anything real good. Um, so bury the ash box. Where on earth is the ash box? So, do I have the ash box in my inventory? If so, where would it be? Oh, I've got a couple more trace arrays. Interesting. Um, doesn't look like I've got an ash box. 
So where do I get the blinking ash box? It's all well and good telling me to bury someone's ashes, but if they're not good enough to tell me where the ashes are, how the blinking heck am I supposed to bury them? Although they probably did tell me, and because I'm recording now, I didn't notice what they said, as usual. Um, I think they said something about it's out front. I'm really glad the timer just went, because that buys me some time to find these ashes. Oh, lagville. Or saving, something or other. Okay, let's have a look around, see if I can find a box containing some ashes. I hope I don't have to end up burying the whole colony. That wouldn't be very nice. Oh, here we go. Loud guns. Turn sound right down. Yeah, so I can't see no indication on the map. I can't see no ashes on the ground. It just tells me to bury ashes. No other indication of what's going on. So maybe I'll try just digging a hole and see if that does it. Yeah, so I haven't got a clue. As usual, nothing new there, right? I'm going to have to watch this episode again and go back over what he said to me. Maybe I've missed something. It is difficult when you're recording. You're thinking of other things, thinking of things ahead and what's going on around and not paying 100% attention to what they're actually saying at that moment. But I'm sure I will eventually. What on earth is this? Is this an ash box? It looks like a cube. It looks like a ball. Ah, ash box. There we go. Right, so we need to bury this. Right, so okay, I've got it all. Um, where did it put the ash box? So let's put the armour in here. Oh, I should really just keep this stuff all without gaps, then it wouldn't be so difficult. Um, where on earth did it now just put the ash box? I don't believe this. I find it, I loot it, and... Oh, wait a minute, quests. Mission. There we go. Right, so let's try this. What I'm going to do, I know the time has gone, but let's see if I can bury this ash box. So we'll get my shovel out. We'll dig a hole. We'll make it a respectable depth. Maybe one more. Right, that should be deep enough. We'll pop that in there. And now we'll go to the build menu. We'll make sure we choose dirt because we want it to recognize that it's a burial. So dirt block in a cube and then we'll go down a bit and do that. And there we go, ash is buried. Ah, so, okay, this looks like this is leading us on to the next quest, I'm hoping. I'm so sorry about the victims. This virus is actually why I'm here. Peter has been going through some pageant files on the old computers. Um, the Paja are what the... Yep. Anyway, we're being selective about which files to decode since it takes forever, so Ava wrote this program to cipher through the most repetitive topics, as they're probably the most important. It turned out we hit the jackpot about 85 years ago. Right before the publications just stopped, 
The headlines kept on mentioning a retrovirus called the Honabu released by the Fujins that's causing... Oh, hell we go. Yes. Well, no. At least, not in the parts we can translate, which is about 15% so far. But we did figure out that they were saying there was a higher concentration of this Honapu virus over in the southeastern swamp. We double-checked with the Michelson's data, and it's there as well. I think we should take a look. Didn't you say that Dr. Zhang wanted to fix... I marked the general location on your map. Something like a weaponized virus factory should stand out, right? Okay, so there we are. We now have a name for the next episode. Um, oh, I should have turned the sound back up. She was probably talking. Never mind. So there we go, though. We have uh, our next objective to tell Pleiades and then go off on this wild goose hunt to try and save the lives of all the colonists. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.